All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh! Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Lands a big right hander. Oh, huge elbow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs in. So many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. He's so confident in finding that uppercut that it's landing over and over again. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit. Oh, he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Oh. Beautiful body kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Big kick land. Back and forth we go here. That's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched, and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he's All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure He's not taking those damaging strikes up top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Ooh. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size. Beautiful leg kick. Now connects with a right. Visibly limping here. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. His misses are out him with the straight. Nice job there by Gaethje. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, he's hurt bad, Jack. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. He landed a good uppercut there. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that's a good strike there by Gaethje. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk. Oh! Gets up again here, but Hurton. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Try to establish that jab. Look at that leg. Big power shot there. Gaethje's kick is blocked. Big punch land. Oh. Round two, round and down. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop one. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Big. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Gaethje gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Trying to establish that jab once again. Job here defensively protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class hands up, chin down. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. That was a nice. An elbow! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. He needs to start. That'll do it! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push.